Hello everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to Sci-5. A tutorial series where I show you how to make awesome sci-fi related things in under five minutes. Ish. And today I'm going to show you how to turn the most mundane parts of your builds and bring them to life using custom map art with transparency so you can take your cybernetic builds to the next level. So, let's dive into it shall we? So, to start making transparent maps you're going to want 10 shulker boxes of either glass blocks or redstone lamps because these two blocks are the only two blocks that I know of that aren't rendered on finished maps. Next, go to the end dimension and bridge out into the void. Make sure you have some blank maps to help you out because you're going to want to find where the map region both begins and ends from one corner to the opposing corner. Once you've found that, just fill in the 128 by 128 map region with the block that you have chosen and then make a frame around it so you can stand on there whilst you're making your maps. Okay, next it's time to make your actual map art. You can freehand this in Minecraft, but I prefer to jump into an image editor like Photoshop. I make my canvas 16 by 16 pixels at 72 dpi and then resize my art once I'm done to 128 by 128, setting the scaling option to nearest neighbour to keep the pixel art look, and then we save it as a PNG. Now we can take that PNG and go to the site Rebane2001, a link for the site will be down in the description. There you can turn your art into a schematic MBT that we can use in things like Lightmatica, and once that's done, just align your Lightmatic blueprint with your map region and begin placing down all of the blocks to make your artwork into a map. And there we go, we now have some wires with a transparent background we can use to dirty things up a little bit. Now, full transparency on full transparency. You're either going to need a data pack, such as the Armour Statues data pack, which is available on Vanilla Tweaks, which you can find a link for down below, or you can use this handy command, which will be on screen right now, there it is, to give yourself an invisible item frame in game. So now that we have our map art, we can put down our item frame like this, put down our map like that and now using the armor statues book we can just right click go to item frames select invisible and there we go we now have cables connecting up our two lovely vending machines and the possibilities with this are endless you could make dinner sets wires holograms monitors fans switches machines lights sewer grates posters graffiti and so much more Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you found this video both helpful and enjoyable. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more content just like this, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if it helped, because I would certainly appreciate it. And you can check out a bunch more tutorials and videos that I think you'll like up on the screen right now, and I will see you in the next one. Enigma out.